Hey, what's up? It's someone that's no one here today. Today, we're here for another smoke sesh. As you see in the title, uh, we're talking about marijuana and cannabis today. And basically, could marijuana, you know, help cure cannabis or could f cannabis cure cannabis? Uh, depression. Yes. Uh, does it have that possibility? We're just going to talk about it. And I'm just going to, you know, make my take on it and you know we'll see where it goes and of course we're gonna light up um it's fucking late as fuck right now it's fucking almost two in the goddamn morning uh we don't got no blunts on us so i decided we're just gonna smoke a few bowls and also we don't have a fucking fucking lighter uh all my other lighters are dead i got the uh plasma lighter but that 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 shit won't work on bowls so uh we just use matches and Light, light up the match with the plasma lighter, smoke the bowl, have a good time, you know, it still works, but, you know, we're not, we're not exactly flexing, I guess, you know, with a fucking wood or something in this video, but, uh, yeah, well, let's dive right into that. Almost no coffee. Almost no coffee. So, cannabis and depression. So, de depression is a very touchy subject, for especially for some pe people. Now, there is different types of depression. Uh, it could be, from what I, it can be, you know, a mental disorder type of depression, or it can just be, you know, every freaking, uh, Every person depression, okay, every person depression, everyone kind of gets in these kind of slumps here and there. It's different for everyone when they kind of just feel unmotivated, uh, and it's kind of more of a depressive moment in life, uh, something, it could be triggered by something, uh, and it could envelope into deeper things and usually sending thoughts uh, and saddening moments are uh, triggers to some of this, and we're gonna be talking about, I guess, both of those and my take on whether cannabis could be used to treat it. And uh, short answer is, I I think yes, but it's a little more complicated than yes, it can treat depression. Uh, it there's a possibility, yes and no. Now this varies from person to person and what kind of depression they have. Now, let's say uh, you are someone who also experiences uh, anxiety or paranoia, um, just for an example. Now, uh, cannabis might trigger those and bring it up a little bit. Now, for those people, I do recommend you know researching certain strains and try to obtain certain strains that are less likely to cause uh, more paranoia or anxiety. Uh, but for some people, you know that isn't exactly a problem. So I think certain strains make me more happier than others, and certain strains could definitely beat out others in terms of just giddiness and happiness just overall uplifting uh an uplifting feeling i think cannabis yeah it can definitely provide something like that as well it can get rid of you know some of the symptoms caused by depression such as uh some people they don't eat as much so uh cannabis you know it increases are you know promotes eating hunger uh another thing could be insomnia uh cannabis promotes sleep uh you know a lot of healthy things to kind of keep ourselves in check in a way that cannabis could provide and just kind of you know that feeling of being high is kind of a good takeaway from reality in 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 a way if you think about it this way, it could 
you could be seeing yourself as kind of taking a break from things and just letting yourself, you know, relax and really just kind of sort out things with this. But now there could be somewhat of an issue um, that could be developed. And I have seen it in certain people and certain people do end up feeling about this or feel this certain way. And that's a uh, kind of getting to a mind state where you need weed to kind of just be happy to be yourself and, and that's called dependency and we aren't really looking for dependency when it comes to these types of things. Uh, it could be more of a choice and a choice is different from dependency. And I think uh, you should do everything in your power if you choose the t choose this route of pursuing cannabis to treat some type of depression to just keep in mind that you shouldn't become dependent on it, especially if you're someone who's getting it off the street and, you know, you have no doctor's approval and stuff like that. You should just uh, tread carefully because, you know, I, you just don't want to have that. I need this to be happy or I'll be depressed type of feeling. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is it's better to find happiness from more of a natural sober state rather than to become dependent upon some drug. And, you know, it, it could be a very dark road of where it can go is basically where, what I'm trying to get at. And, you know, just be careful with your decisions and whatnot and i you know don't encourage this at all uh drug use at all i don't condone condone drug use at all if you are wondering this channel isn't about condoning drug use it's more to just uh prevent more uh it's more to promote responsible use prevent less uh, freaking tragedies from occurring with drug overdoses and stuff like that and of course entertainment as well i know some of you guys just like to you know listen to this and be somewhat entertained and that's cool too so uh i'm just gonna leave it at that you know kind of more of a serious episode you know we haven't really talked about depression i think ever on this channel before so yeah definitely something we can also cover depression on its own in its own video maybe for a topic or something if you guys want but uh yeah, if you, you know, like these, like the video, leave a comment for an idea or something you want me to talk about uh, weed related for these types of videos, and I'll most likely respond and do the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and it is your boy, someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.